Hello and welcome to soulboats.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of how to navigate around soulboats.com. You will notice that the page is split into two sections. The left hand side of the screen contains your search filters and the right side of the screen contains your search results. Various search filters that you're going to see are keyword search, sold date, make, I uh, notice that model is not going to be shown until a make is actually selected. I have azimuth selected here, which is why we're seeing azimuth models. Um, year, length, price, condition. And then you can get into class and your region, country. I have country selected for United States, which is why I am able to see the state drop down box. Um, you're going to notice that the states are not in alphabetical order, and this is based on your search results. So we're showing you the results based on the number of listings associated with that category. So you're going to see that's how the uh, default order is set. And then you will notice that the states listed down below that are um, a little bit blurry or grayed out uh, don't have listings with the selected search criteria. So that is why they are listed at the bottom there. And then from states, you can even drill down into cities within those states. So it's important that you, um, you select the region and country carefully in order to be able to get into the states and cities that are applicable for your area. And then at the bottom of the left-hand side of the screen, you can get your advanced search filters. So this would be sale type, um, price source, listing type. Um, price source is new, and price source is telling you if the sold price came from a contract, which would show as contracted data, or if the sold price was typed in or just entered as um, self-reported information. And then you get into your listing type, co-op type, boat name, so you get the idea. So we have quite a few specialized advanced search filters as you scroll down the page here. There's a back to top button over here on the bottom right. And we are looking at search results um, based on the list view, which is selected right here. So you have two views to look at your search results. You have a photo view or you have a list view. The photo view obviously gives you a photo, uh, the main photo of the listing, followed by um, some information about the listing. To get all of the information about the listing, you can click into the listing. And this will take you to the boat details page. This is where you can get all of the detailed information. So you'll see the um, sold data is shown in red here. And then you have your main boat details information, such as you know the make, model, your length, condition, et cetera. And then you have tabs for descriptions, engines, uh, other information, such as your dimensions, weight, speed, and then you have all of your features. So each listing will have these tabs. If a tab is missing, it means that the information was not filled out when the listing was created. From each boat details page, you can print, you can email, you can contact the broker that was uh, related to this listing. I'm gonna go back to search here. You can also print or email each listing from the search results page. You can do that in the list view or in the photo view. I'm gonna pop, pop back into the list view to show you again, the print and email are shown here on the far right. And I am going to use this check all feature. So you can see that I checked 30 listings. This green bar at the bottom has shown me I have 30 listings selected and I can actually change the number of listings that I want to appear per page. So let's say I want to change it to 100. So I want to, I want to select 100 listings. So I clicked my check all button again. I got 100 listings and now I can actually export. So I'm going to export these listings and I can do that into a CSV file. This is a great way to compare a lot of information quickly. 
So you have um, pretty much all of the listing information available here in various columns. Um, if you ever have a request to have any other information added, you can always reach out to us. Um, sold Boats is never done. We are always welcoming your feedback and we are always trying to improve. And let's see, to uncheck all, you can simply click this uncheck all button here. And let's say I want to jump into a listing. Um, I, I want to print this listing. So I'm going to click my print button. And now you're taken into the brochure print, print page. On the left hand side, you will see your selected listing. And you can actually select multiple listings to be printed at the same time. I just selected one to be able to show you an edit photo feature. And then you can change the layout. So let's look at full details, uh, full details, all images. This is our, our most popular layout. And you'll notice that as I changed the layout here, the image over here on the right updated. So this is not a print preview on the right hand side. This is just an image of the different layouts to visually give you an idea as to what that layout will look like. And then you can change the office, your contact. Uh, this information, office and contact, they're printed here on the brochure. So you can, you, can, um, you can adjust as needed. And then you have toggles to hide or show your header logo, footer information, your broker headshot. You can print the image titles if, if they have them. And you can even group the listings by power and sale that's applicable to um, this type of review when you have a long list of boats to print here. So I'm gonna go back to my full details. Actually, I want full details, all images. And now here there's this edit photos button. This is really nice because you can actually choose the images that you want to have selected um, in the order that you would like for that main page. So remember we had that one big image and I believe there were four images underneath. So this lets you pick and choose uh, which images you would like to have printed on your actual brochure, which is really handy. And then when you are ready, you can click create brochure and your brochure is actually going to download and then you can print from there. So from here, I can print or download. And my brochure is ready to go. Now, emailing this to a customer, this is 19 pages, and the pictures are quite large. This would be quite large to actually download an email to a customer. So that is why we recommend the brochures for printing. And then if you want to email to the customer, you can just select the listing and email that listing to the customer. The email is defaulted to send the full details and all images to the customer, um, but it is much smaller in size compared to the large PDF. So you can enter your customer's email here. Again, your info is CC in the reply to. You can update the subject, so you can change the subject. You can customize your message. And then the send button is down here at the bottom. I'm gonna go back to the page here. And I'm going to apply a couple more search filters so you can see the search results update. So let's say I want to expand um, back to 2017. So again, I can type that year in. I didn't have to click through the calendar. I simply just typed it in. And as I type that in, you notice the search results automatically updated. And if you wanted to include additional makes, models, you can do that over here in the search filters. Um, if you have forgotten the search filters that you have selected or are applied, there's a handy little slider here at the top left. You can scroll to the right and see all of the various search filter criteria that has been applied. If you want to remove something, you can just click the X 
and you could actually just remove that filter criteria right from here as well. So I hope this tour of soldboats.com was helpful. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one tour, please reach out to your account manager. And just remember that Sold Boats is never done. We are always looking for your feedback to improve. Thanks so much.